Hello YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Kitty. So this is with another video to with another tutorial video, and today I'm going to show you how to install um, Unreal Tournament 1999 on Windows 10 and 11. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm actually going to go here, so that way I can copy these off. This will be the first time I introduce you to UMod, which is something the Unreal Tournament uses. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just copy those off the, that disk. Go here, install, ins, insert your, um, insert the first disk. And I'm going to install Unreal Tournament. Don't need DirectX 7. But we're just going to install UT99. UT and then, yeah, this is not going to really have. This is actually going to have a lot of content. And this version of Annual Tournament Game of the Year Edition has a lot of content that you that you can actually download if you have like a standard copy of Annual Tournament. So we're going to install something else. Uh, we can install. I can install this later. But for right now, I'll install um, this, the high compression textures. So now we've got that. And so now, we go back to the first disk. We're going to install the 436 patch. Why not? <clears throat> Actually, it's going to be I. I believe it's going to be I. So now we got the 436 patch installed. Now we'll install bonus pack 4. This doesn't need the disk to be inserted. But we're going to install it anyway. I'm going to remove that for right now. So I'm going to go to my Unreal tur Tournament folder. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to... I'm going to first install this. The latest uh, 469 patch for Unreal Tournament. And this will give us... Um, that so then I'm going to delete that then I'm going to go here copy this in here and then the first thing that I'm going to do is install operation uh, poly copy this um Actually, we won't even need that. We won't even need that, really. But the manual, I, I will want to have. But the manual, I will want to have. So the first thing that I'm going to install is the... And this uses UMod. So I'm just introducing you to UMod. We just go here. UNR. Insert that into system.
So now we've got that in there. Then I'm going to install Seven Bullets, which is a, another mod, which... Actually, I'm going to install this one in here, which is another mod. For Unreal Tournament. Let me decide which files... I'll just summon the devil. We'll keep whatever is in there because it's really not that different. Then, Ex Ex Exidia. And I will link to all these mods in the uh, description. And where to download, where to buy, or download the game. So let's see what we got here. We're going to hang on to most of what's in here because we already do have an up-to-date version of the OpenGL renderer. And that is really... So I'm going to go into... Um, and then I'm going to copy over... Um, the latest version of old school amped and there you go now now we're going to load the game and I can just load it from here and so we got X OpenGL what not so so we got the X open gel, but the first thing I want to actually do is install the Vulcan render because the Vulcan render is the superior render, which I forgot to install that. And then we're going to now I'm, we're going to install the HD textures. I just want to make sure the game works. Because we've got some HD textures and models. And by the way, the Vulkan render is only for Windows. It's not for Linux. Which is a huge shame because really I would like to see something like this on Linux. Considering that Linux has actually got Vulkan support. <clears throat> It'd be definitely well worth worth the time to code code this for Linux, which is something I would like to see whoever made made the uh, Vulkan renderer for UT ninety nine do. We'll just go into the settings of um the game. And so we've got new models. This should uh, give us. Um, this should give us high, high, high res models. Copy and replace them all. Copy those in there. Now we're gonna also copy over the models. Which will give us really, um, which will really give us a lot of like different things. So now we can go back and actually load the game. And so if we go here, we got Vulcan. Live long and prosper, Spock. I make that joke raw input, always do raw input. As one of the nice things about UT99 is you can do raw raw input.
In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. The Andrew Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. The professional league was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. You have been selected to fight in the professional league by the Leandre Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. To crush your enemy. To win the tournament. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. The Andrew Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. The professional league was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. You have been selected to fight in the professional league by the Leandre Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. To crush your enemy. To win the tournament. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. The Andrew Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. The professional league was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. You have been selected to fight in the professional league by the Leandre Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. To crush your enemies. To win the tournament.
In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. The Andrew Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. The Professional League was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. You have been selected to fight in the Professional League by the Leandre Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. To crush your enemies. To win the tournament. Turning the safety off. Burn, baby. Loser.
You like that? Loser. Learn how to aim. Double kill. This is one of the ways that you you can get like the um, the uh, anti the ace anti cheat thing. Is by joining a server.
For the moment when your map is, reminds you of the early 2000s. Back when they put boobies in games and weren't afraid of um, people getting offended, offended at crap or this or that. <clears throat> yeah. And you know, people didn't complain much. I mean, people didn't complain much about video game, about, about movies. Like, you had, um, you had the Alien movies, which came out years ago. People not complaining much about those. <clears throat> and you didn't have all this culture war nonsense that just when you really get down to it it's not very productive they're not very productive complaining about people who about 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 about, about fictional characters is even more so not productive complaining about the people who complain about fictional characters and in my honest opinion people waste their, their time um being unproductive, uh, being unproductive. At least I'm doing something somewhat productive for you guys, showing you guys how to, um, how to essentially do this. And since we're done here, <clears throat> let's go and go into the Linux side of things. And now, and now that we're in Linux, let's take a look at um, how to install this in Linux. So the first thing that I'm going to do, of course, I'm going to put a link to this, to where you can get these. So this has got the uh, disk images that I have, but I will also link the GOG install for on Wheel Tournament 1999. You're going to download that file as it has already been patched um, to 436, but we need to install one more patch. So I'm going to extract this, but I'm going to choose my directory. And I'm going to just, I'm just going to extract it there. Because that is where I have my game files. So, this will just extract um, the, the files there. And of course, I have my Unreal folder. Extracted, finished. There we go, Unreal Tournament. So I'm going to go here and I should have the old Unreal, not this file, not this file, but I should have it in here. So if I don't have it in here, I'll go download it. And since I find this downloaded the file that I had forgotten to what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go back to the Unreal folder, copy all of this in here, overwrite, apply this to all. 
This is the x86 client. And then we're going to, and then I'm going to download the 64-bit client. I downloaded the wrong one, but you might as well, if you got 64-bit, you might as well install the 64-bit client. That'll be a better client to begin with. It'll actually be a much better client, and you just copy what's in, in here into that folder. And so what that does is it, it copies um, all that stuff in there. And then I do something. I'll start the next. Go go check something. Then we'll start and continue with this. Then the next thing that we're going that we're going to do is um, we're going to copy um, this in there close create yeah forget, I'm not I'm not in the we're going to copy all that in there apply to all it'll give us higher res textures And then it'll, and then we'll have like higher res textures, just like we have on um, on on real tournament on uh, Windows, and I thought that would be pretty neat. And then we'll just start it up, and it'll be really neat to start the game up. In a proper 64-bit uh, environment, in a proper 64-bit client, client, hoping that that the x86 doesn't screw things up. And so now we'll have. Um, Because now we will have, um, we'll have like the, those files, which is really good. Because now we should have those and we'll have these as well. But I'm going to leave this open. Because I'm going to copy certain files and now we'll have um, leave that I'll leave this open so I have to show you how to what you know what you're gonna have to do with this this is a little different with that so let's load the game. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no-holds-barred fighting. The Andrew Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. The Professional League was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. 
You have been selected to fight in the professional league by the Leandre Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. To crush your enemies. To win the tournament. So I'm going to show you guys how to um, how to change your render from OpenGL to um, from OpenGL to um, to um, to X OpenGL. So I'm going to go to there. Go here. Um, so we're going to go to UTPG, we're going to go to Unreal Tournament, we're going to, it's going to, it's, it's just going to load it in, uh, Wine, so we've got OpenGL Render, let's find X open GL X open GL over here we're going to go into here first Um, hardware clipping. Let's do hardware clipping. Let's try that. Let's configure this to use. Use uh, anti aliasing. Anti-aliasing is a very useful thing to have. Volumetric lighting, anti-sotropic filtering, 16. I'm going to show you guys how to set up XOpenGL. Anti-aliasing samples, 8. So it's pretty much um, configured the way we want it. It's configured the way we want it. It's good enough for Paul, it's good enough for me. But we can also configure... But we can also go in here and actually tweak OpenGL if we ever wanted to. But for right now we'll use the XOpenGL client because the XOpenGL client is the best way to go about open jail well, what we're going to do is replace the parts which say open GL with with the X open GL renderer
because this will give us like this will give us OpenGL renderer for the X OpenGL renderer, which is a much better renderer to be honest. Um, it's a much better renderer for the game. So we'll just load the game again. See if it does it. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. The Andrew Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. The Professional League was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. You have been selected to fight in the professional league by the Leandre Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. To crush your enemies. To win the tournament. And so you can see that the game is a little too dark. Turn it down to that. Turn it to that. That should be bright enough. That should be bright enough. Or maybe not. I don't think it will be. So let's take a look at the renderer. So the renderer is now using the X OpenGL renderer. Now, I want to show you how to do that because there's not a lot of guides that show you how to do that. And I wanted to do this in the uh, Linux installation portion of the video so let's uh, see if the brightness is in 2291 in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners the new earth government legalized no holds barred fighting you know what we gotta should turn that up more What's the minimum FPS? Let's set that for 60. Turn the brightness up a little bit. Like that. Turn it up a little bit. See what it looks like. See what settings we can get the game to look a little bit better. It's a little too dark in my opinion. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. This is a little too dark in my opinion, so... I want to turn it up. Like that. That, that should be more than enough. For brightness. Try it this time. There we go. In twenty two ninety one, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. The anti mining corporate. You know, we're getting a little bit. Let's 
turn the brightness up. Turn the brightness up like that. Let's try that. There we go. I can finally see everything for the most part. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. The Andrew Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. Let's actually turn the brightness all the way up. I can hardly see, still hardly see anything. Like, there. Let's try that. So you may have to tweak the brightness. Like, the brightness shouldn't be that dark. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. The Andrew Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. The Professional League was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. You have been selected to fight in the Professional League by the Leandro Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. To crush your enemies. To win, to win, the, win tournament. the tournament. And there we go, we should uh, have uh, better brightness. So let's try a server. Let's first configure our character. Female commando? Oh. Try a female soldier. Go to networking, cable. Try the Chicago server again.
And so, yeah, you can see that the video, like, it's a little dark. Like, if you if you ask me, the XOpenGL render just seems a little dark, darker. It looks great. But you have to turn, like, the brightness up, which is one of the reasons why I like the Vulkan render on Windows more better than I do the, um, than the XOpenGL render. The Linux, I wish it had, like, a, I wish that the guy developing the, the, um, the Vulkan render made a Linux render for this. No, made made a Linux version of the uh, of the Vulcan render, but unfortunately, he he is he isn't developing that. So it's like very interesting. This comparing these renders, I will have to do like a direct comparison between these very these two renders, and I might use this map because this is a very good map for doing that kind of doing that kind of comparison, like X OpenGL versus um, OpenGL um, X OpenGL versus um, OpenGL versus Direct3D versus um. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open this f file up. And I'm going to open up old school. I'm going to go to this rocket arena. And I'm going to open that one up. So, good. I'm going to go to um, my games folder. I'm going to go to my games folder. I'm going to my annual tournament folder. I'm going to copy over. that go here copy that over here where rocket arena is rocket arena Copy Rocket Arena in here. Skip. So now we got Rocket Arena in here. And what I'm going to go to And we're gonna load the game. And see if those will crop up. Rocket Arena crops up, pops up in here. Which is good.
But there is one file that's not popping up in here. We're going to go to here and we're going to go dot utpg like we did before over here. I mean, old school is not cropping up, so I'm going to copy those files in here. We're going to go back here, copy this in here, because that's also not showing up. I'm going to add that in here. And then we're going to go to Chaos UT, copy that in there. So we should have, so we now should have it in our, now it should show up. Now chaos ut shows up. So if it's not showing up in Linux, it might actually have to do with the fact that you're not that you have to copy it into that one folder as well. So let's try um, old school. Let's see what that is. You probably wonder what that is. Mojo? Nah, not Mojo. Oh yeah, that map. That'd be fun. So let's see if we've got um, UT. Let's try that.
So let's try something else. Let's try like um Chaos UT. <clears throat> let's try like Chaos UT mutator. Something like that or Rocket Arena. Show you what Rocket Arena does. Try something else. Crap, let's try something else. Like Rocket Arena. Like we did old school. Old school is great. Rocket Arena.
Let's see what else we've got in here. We got like Flak Arena, Flak Cannon Arena. But we got like Sword Melee. Holy shit. Take a look at um some of these other ones. Sword Arena Melee. But we do happen to have Fat Boy. I don't know what Fat Boy is, but I don't know if that's original to the game. Cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, oh, this, oh yeah, it's this. The arena. Never actually done this before. This is gonna be weird. Oh. 
Holy sh this is cool. <laughs> Oh, this is so weird. Oh, this is so fucking weird. I love this. I love this already. I actually like that one. Let's try a different mutator. Like, um, let's try that one. This is really interesting, just trying these different mutators. Like, old school is my favorite mutator, if I have to be um, honest. I love old school. Volatile ammo. I don't know where that comes from. I think that comes with one rocket arena, I think. But I hope you enjoyed this video, this brief this tutorial video on how to install Omnial Tournament 1999 on not just Windows, but also Linux. Without further ado, I will end this, this, this video. And I hope you guys have, have, a, have a nice rest of your day. Bye.